Okay, here I'm going to look at grow room fan options. So we think fan is just a fan, but you can see here there's very difference on their location and also what their intended purpose is for. So first off, uh, horizontal airflow fans is the ones we see in the image here and here. Uh, these help, uh, these are circulation fans that help stir the air. The concept was introduced by Yukon's own floriculture specialist, uh, Dr. J, back in 1967. I linked the article right here. The idea here is to kind of keep air moving here above the plants. So these fans aren't directed directly on the plants, but they're helped to here to keep that air moving, especially in tunneled structures. Now, oscillating fans we might be familiar with. They're highly recommended for grow rooms and tents. Should be placed far enough away from plants to make leaves move, but not induce water stress. You don't want them blowing directly on the plants, causing um, potential for leaf burn or just inducing water stress. Uh, just that nice, gentle blowing. The reason why oscillating fans, there's two different types. Some can oscillate internally. Well, this may oscillate within the cage. This might be one we're more familiar with where this actually motor will kind of rotate and isolate and oscillate as it goes through and um, stirs the air that way. It helps prevent um, any one plant from getting all the directed um, wind and sp spreading that out over the grow area. Now fan efficiency, fans are able to pull air about four times more efficiently than push air. So this is why exhaust fans um, are directed to force air out of a structure rather than rotated to blow air into a site. So these fans are located inside the walls, and they're going to blow air out here. So that's what's important because they're a lot more efficient uh, at pulling air than about the four times greater than pushing air. So we may think that, oh, it might be good to blow air in. No, they're about more efficient at pulling that air out. We see the little uh, Gary Larson uh, cartoon here. Uh, so exhaust fans used to help keep the air exchanging in a grow area, rated in CFM, and that stands for cubic feet per minute. You want to calculate the volume of the room, the length, the width, and the height. It gives you the volume. And then match the fan that can replace the air volume in under five minutes. Some growers may even shoot for one minute, uh, but under five minutes is the key part here. If you have a fan uh, in your room, you want to make sure you want that is blowing out, even though you may think you want that blowing in your face to help you make you feel cooler. If you're looking at pulling air, again, exhausting, pulling that air from the room and exhausting it out would be your best option. And there could be different grow area sizes, so this is why there's different fans. This is why you want to match that to your volume of space. That's also squirrel cage blowers, and they get their name for the cage look to the fan blades that they have. They can move air well, but are often noisy. It kind of looks like a hamster wheel in here. Um, so that, that is one option uh, that might be for, a fit for your facility. Um, just want you to know what those are, and they can be noisy, so if that's a concern, take that into consideration. Then we have inline fans that I have here in the grow tent. These are used uh, within ventilation tubing to help pull air through the ducting to be exhausted. So we have a carbon filter, we have our ducting, and we have our inline fan here, and this is what it looks like. This is used to kind of send that, uh, ideally that hot air after being uh, cleaned through the carbon filter, taking out some of the odor, and then exhausted out here. I also have a variable uh, speed controller, which is good for regulating how much air is being exhausted. And since this is a relatively small grow tent, a four foot by two foot, a uh, four inch fan should be sufficient for this area. Now, if you're talking a very large area, uh, ceiling fans can be an option, and they're good for super large environments. These are called big ass fans. It's the name of the actual company, and they actually go through in these large, gigantic fans and help circulate air in very large facilities. Um, they help keep that air moving efficiently with minimum use of fan motors.